One day, not too long after Fallout 76 came out, Todd was at his desk, his trusty hog Oinky by his side, and he was sad. Because people didn't like Fallout 76. And the orders came on high, and they said, Todd, you've not been able to turn around Fallout 76, so we're going to have to cancel it. And you're going to have to go in there and shut down the servers yourself, Todd, because we had to fire everybody else. And that made Todd sad because Fallout 76 employed a lot of people, and they all had to be fired. And Todd thought, oh, this is horrible. This is all my fault. He looked down at Winky and said, Well, I always wanted to make a multiplayer game, but it didn't work out, Winky. People just aren't ready for the fantastic combat and exploration of Fallout 76. Despite the fact that it's out for a cheap price and, and there's a great optional subscription. They give you unlimited storage and a forward operating base that you can place anywhere you want in addition to your camp. Because people just, just don't want it. They're not ready. That's what Todd slinked out off to the server room to flip the switch. And just as he walked by a window, a window cleaner had lifted up the window. And outside, Todd could hear singing, chanting. It was weird. And he went over and looked out, and there were thousands of people out there, out in the parking lot. And through Todd's tears, he saw that they all had signs up. They're saying, save Fallout 76. And Todd walked out to the balcony of the Zenimax building. There's never been any pictures, that's why nobody knows it exists. And he got his trusty microphone out. And he waved to the crowd and everybody cheered. And he said, hey everybody. So, so you heard Fallout 76 is going to be canceled. I, I'm going to turn the servers off right now. And everybody said, no, Todd, don't turn off the servers. We promise we'll buy Fallout 76. We promise we'll buy Adams for Fallout 76 because of the great, fantastic skins and other items the Adam store has. And Todd said, it's, it's not up to me, guys. It's... This is, this is coming up from the, from up above, from the top. I, I can't do anything about it. I gotta go turn it off. And everybody put their head down and said, well, if it's, that's the way it's gotta be, Todd. So he turned, go back and go went back into the building. But wouldn't you know it, old Winky, she didn't want to, she, she, she could not stand the fact that Todd was sad. And so she got up onto the podium in the, on the balcony and she gave a rousing speech into the microphone. And she went, <coughs> which meant, come on guys, if we all pitch in together, we can save Fallout 76. And she started a speech, she started the chant. Wide as an ocean, wide as an ocean, wide as an ocean, wide as an ocean. And everybody kept going, wide as an ocean, wide as an ocean, wide as an ocean. And as Todd was about to go into the server room to flip off this, the servers for Fallout 76, out now on all platforms, he heard them saying, wide as an ocean, and he thought, oh. They're just trying to trick me. You know? Wide as an ocean, deep as a puddle. No, guys. And he just started crying. But what he didn't know was their chant wasn't over yet. And old Winky said, which meant, wide as an ocean, deep as an ocean. Wide as an open as ocean, deep as an ocean. That's right. Fallout 76 is wide as an ocean, deep as an ocean. And they all started chanting, 
wide as an ocean, deep as an ocean. That's my fist. That's not somebody trying to punch me. It's not Todd over here. And at that very moment, Phil Spencer was in the building because he was going to buy Zenimax because they were they ran out of money. And he was going to buy the whole company for one dollar. And when he heard that chanting, he suddenly realized Zenimax isn't worth a dollar. It's worth seven point five billion dollars. And that's how they saved Fallout 76. We can thank Phil Spencer and all of the Fallout 76 fans for saving Fallout 76. It's, it's a great feeling. And it made Todd happy because he got a bigger bonus this year.